My powers have doubled below there. General! We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everyone, and welcome to today's video. Now, surely we've all seen Master Yoda, old and wise, with much knowledge of the Force. We've seen him in the original trilogy with his cane, barely able to walk around without limping or hunching like an old man. And the times that he's not walking with his cane, his old bones are so tired and frail that he uses a levitating pod to transport himself around the Jedi Temple in the prequels. One of the most shocking things to the fans was in Episode 2, when we see Yoda limp on in with his cane in hand to fight Count Dooku. Once their skills can't be tested with their knowledge of the Force, but rather with a more elegant weapon for a more civilized time, Yoda ditches the cane and literally becomes a green ball of blur on screen, from all the jumping and acrobatics that he does. I mean, the guy goes from senior citizen who needs a scooter to becoming the number one gymnast in the galaxy. Then, once the fight is over, he summons his cane and starts hunching and limping all over again. This is confusing to the audience. Why is this? How is this? Is it all an act? Is he just doing this to throw off his opponents and the rest of the enemies that he may have? The answer is no. At least, not entirely. Yoda was almost 900 years old in the prequels, well into his 800s, and his bones were becoming brittle, soft, and, well, just old. He very much needed his cane, but when it came time to fight, he harnessed the fourth lightsaber fighting style, Ataru. This style was aggressive and acrobatic, and it was essential for older masters especially, who utilized the force as much as they could to allow their body to do things they otherwise couldn't. So like in episode 1, where we saw Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon use force speed to evade the droidicas, this is what Yoda was doing while fighting Dooku, and then later Sidious, or really any of his enemies. But it wasn't just speed that he was using, he was using the force to flow through his body, energizing him with every strike. He used these great powers of the force that he had to jump, move, evade, and attack, all in extreme acrobatics and speed. Now his green lightsaber does symbolize his immense power with the force, the experience and knowledge that he collected over the many years of his life, and therefore, while he fought, he used this power to make up for his, well, downfalls. The Force was used to make his body young and able, allowing the Force to flow through his old bones and strengthen them, giving his muscles the capability that it could maybe half of his lifetime ago. So that's why we see Yoda moving so fluid when he fights, versus when he's just sedentary. That's why we see him always meditating. His main power was the use of the Force itself, and as his body aged, his connection only grew stronger with it. This really makes me wonder just how powerful he would have been if he didn't have to focus all his energy and force powers on his movements while he fought, saving those powers for other attacks. I for one would really like to see a younger Yoda anthology movie or a comic series or something like that, explaining his powers and abilities when he was much younger. Now some notable practitioners of the fourth lightsaber fighting style Ataru were Quinlan Voss, Shakti, Ahsoka Tano, Luke Skywalker, and even Mara Jade Skywalker later on. And funny enough, the alternate name for this in Legends was the Aggression Form. Let me know what you guys think of Yoda using his cane versus using the Force. Do you think he should have just used the Force the whole time and felt like a young man or moved like a young man pretty much all throughout the prequels? I mean, that would have been pretty funny to see him not using a cane or not hunching, but this kind of gives it a bit of a more interesting aspect to his character where he's just this old frail man but then uses this immense knowledge of the force that he has and he's just very unsuspecting and I think that's a great asset and character detail to him. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you enjoyed it. I will see you all in the next episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, remember, the force will be with you always. Now, fulfill.